I was up at 5 o'clock this morning, just so excited to do this video on a Sunday morning. Lithium, guys. Lithium ion. 100 amp hour. Dakota lithium. Look at that. I think it's like 28 pounds. It's really light. Whatever the weight is, it's like pretty light. You can hold it straight out. You can't do that with a car battery, right? This right here I purchased from Dakota Lithium, and I want to try it out in the van because this lead acid battery is killing me. It's like dying all the time. I just got an old car battery in a van. We run our lights, our drill chargers, our inverters. We're going to try this bad boy out. You can mount them any way you want. It doesn't matter. Upside down. And they last a long, long time long time these are hard to kill now the price in this battery i think they're into 900 dollars range plus some change um but it's like buying four golf cart batteries the, the six volts it's like buying four of them into one and you can drain this all the way down and when you drain this all the way down lithium it still holds its power all the way to the end which is really cool i think it's like 98 percent or 95 percent you can drain them down i don't know the specs i don't want to bore you with the specs because a lot of people they don't understand the specs of things. They just want it to work. You know, I don't want these heavy batteries in my van because sometimes I have to go, I have to carry four batteries to other places to put in the RVs. And this right here, if I got four batteries to do the equivalent of this, I'd have to have eight batteries. It's just too much. I and mean, it's a one-ton van. It can take it, but it's it takes gas. I mean, I have to, I have other, a lot of tools in here too. It weighs it down. So I didn't want the weight and I wanted the power. So we're going to mount this and replace it with a lead-acid battery and see how it goes. So I put the little sticker here on the van and well we can plug this in too even if my solar doesn't keep up with this battery on a van because it's smaller i can plug it in charge it and probably not have to charge it for another month just in case you never watch this this is the van it's going in i just want to get you a picture of the setup this is a diesel van extended with a lot of battery power now so we're gonna replace we're gonna replace this old battery with this battery oh yeah and this is the lithium charger we have right here you just put it on the pins plug this in right here so if we want to charge once a month we can so we install the regular fuse panel breaker box with the breakers and you can do this in a pickup truck i mean you can do this in like almost any van you just shove it under your toolbox screw it in run the wires pretty simple a lot of wires on here but for now i want to test it oh that's going to put our lights out Holy cow, 14.8, it went up to 15.1, the voltage. 15.4 volts, holy camoly. Got my drill charger. I know it's not that fancy, but I'm into functionality. This is a work van. So I'm gonna strap it in nice to here. And I'm gonna get probably build a box for it later on. But I'm gonna put a top on it so nothing hits the terminals. These lights are super bright now. It wasn't like that before. Check it out. Isn't that crazy? Like the Magnum inverter, 1000 watt, pure sine wave. And a cheap charge controller. I have to do some adjustments on this so it doesn't overcharge the battery. Even though I think it has a computer in it that stops it, I'm just going to be careful to make sure. That's the solar panel mounted on top of the van right there. We got it hooked in with some die core and some screws. So we're going to push this battery to its limits. I'm going to take this battery and draw it way down. And I'm going to see how long it takes to charge and how it can hold up to the system that we have in here. Now, everybody's thinking, well, maybe... 900 something dollars for a battery is a lot of money to spend. I'd rather have one small battery, you know, one small light battery than four big huge batteries lugging around because of fuel. I'd rather have the lighter battery. I have a lot of videos of saying, uh, I've been saying lithium's too expensive, but, but I did a lot more research on that. And the amount you can draw this battery down to and still hold that power is what's going to work for me. So in some cases, lead acid's better. In some cases, lithium's better. Most cases, lithium's better if you have the wallet. If you do have the wallet to, to buy a lithium battery, I recommend Dakota Lithium. I'm just so excited to get this battery in. And we're going to do more videos. And I'm going to tell you more about the warranty in this battery and how long it can last. That's a big thing. How long it'll last and um, when it runs stuff. There's a lot of people that are full-time RVing right now and they need batteries. Now, remember that van we did? had four big gel batteries. I think they were 225 amp hours a piece. They were, I forget what kind they were, but they were the gel, gel sealed batteries. They held up really well. Um, I talked to the owner of the van and she says they're doing pretty good. Since then, lithium has come down in price. So I probably would have recommended one of those or maybe two of those in the van. Cause she has, I think almost $700 into the most well, three, six, seven, almost seven, $800 into these batteries. So she could spend in like the $900 range, nine and some change to get 
lithium battery and that's you know it's like right on the line now where it's getting affordable to have these lithium batteries i'm sick of old batteries and i'm putting them in there and you know from leftover rvs and the lights keep dying and i gotta wire back up and it, eh, i'm just tired of it so we splurged a little bit got this lithium and we're super happy about it now the problem that i have is i'm going to be staring at this battery and i can't stare at the battery and drive because it's in the back so this is just the install of the battery and you can't just it, it it's like working on an rv refrigerator i can't just work on it in an hour and show you everything i gotta wait till it cools down do the temperature see how long it holds temperature for um with and without food so it's the same thing with a battery i don't see how long it lasts so you can't just do it in one video so keep watching we're gonna do a bunch of videos on this battery and how long it lasts and uh, i'll let you know i'll report back to you for now it's ross the boss from the camper pros putting in an awesome dakota lithium battery i'll put the link below if you want one